the impeachment of Wilson Witzel, the 63rd governor of Rio de Janeiro, began on 10 June 2020 with a petition for his impeachment being accepted by Andri Ceciliano, president of the Legislative Assembly after a symbolic voting in the virtual floor of the House. State deputies Lucia Helena and Luis Paulo Correa filed a petition accusing Governor Witzel of the following crimes, acquisition of overpriced respirators, suspect bidding for the construction of temporary hospitals, linking with the arrested entrepreneur Mario Pisotto, rejection of the 2019 budget by the State Court of Accounts. Once approved, the process moves to a special committee where each one of the 29 parties in the assembly chose representatives to make an impeachment committee. The report, authorizing the impeachment process was approved by the special committee on 17 September. If the state assembly passes the request, the governor is suspended from his duties and a trial will begin through a mixed court. At least 10 impeachment requests had been presented against Governor Wilson Witzel, elect in 2018 based in the Bolsonarism, severing ties with it later, besides not having any history with politics. A series of accusations of embezzlement of public money rose during the COVID-19 pandemic in Rio de Janeiro, with operations placebo and favorite putting in doubt the suitability of the own governor and some of his state secretaries in relation to the management and acquisition of health supplies. The accounts of the state government of 2019 were also rejected by the State Court of Accounts. The last four governors-elect of Rio de Janeiro were arrested for corruption. Besides the former commanders of the state government, a series of former state deputies such as former presidents of the Legislative Assembly, George Pichani and Paolo Mello, were also arrested. All of them were part of a group which dominated Rio for about 15 years. This caused a hard financial crisis, as one of the reflexes being the regression of the rating of many municipalities, including the capital, in the FIRJAN Index of Municipal Development of 2018, as well as the federal intervention in public security. All of these circumstances helped decrease trust in the political class, not only in Rio, but also in the federal scope, making this scenario a fertile territory for polarization and for fake news. After the declaration of coronavirus pandemic, lots of other accusations of embezzlement of public money had surged involving state secretaries in relation to the fight against the pandemic, and the own governor was target of Operation Placebo of the federal police with the aggravating of having a weak government support in the Legislative Assembly. Representatives criticized the head of the state government for keeping people investigated by the State Public Prosecutor's Office and police in his staff. The impeachment process signed by deputies Luis Paulo Correa and Lucia Helena was unanimously accepted on 10 June 2020 by the Legislative Assembly of Rio de Janeiro. Among the items covered in the request, it includes the suspect of overpricing and delay in the construction of campaign hospitals, as well as the rejection of the governor accounts of 2019 by the State Court of Accounts. Once approved, the process moved to a special committee, where each one of the 29 parties in the assembly delegated representatives to create the impeachment committee. As the request was accepted by the assembly floor, the head of the executive branch was suspended from his duties and a mixed court was formed by the impeachment request enumerate the following suspects.